Hi, welcome back to channel delivery challenge. So we got it first at this train station too. All right, so here we are in the last uh, bit of preparation for the day uh, in terms of this delivery challenge before there's a new event in the start. So I um, hope uh, you have you know, collected all these legendary parts, which are really important, and you can see me uh, constantly upgrading those. Uh, buildings using the five building technique so um, upgrading the populations you need blue maps so make sure you collect those ship traits <laughs> so uh, again uh, upgrading of this uh, buildings will always uh, increase the population and hence uh, able to upgrade your warehouse space uh, it takes quite a fair bit of uh, effort uh, in constantly upgrading them and of course it takes some coins as well and not forgetting um, you will always drain out of blue maps so make sure you collect them uh, constantly uh, from the ship trade captain um, of course uh, that said um, you also need to constantly uh, work hard on the other deliveries especially the seven stamps ones it's quite a bit of effort here and there um, but wow it's a bit too noisy <laughs> Alright, so you can actually be in a way those requests that doesn't suit you um, like I said uh, it's quite a bit of effort Alright, I'll speak later. Alright, finally some peace and quiet. <laughs> so, um, I, I was just trying to say that in competitions it's a bit tough uh, to constantly upgrade your building. So, while you are at this uh, so-called mini event, so make sure you constantly do that. Because uh, in the uh, main event competitions, you'll be just too busy to do all this stuff. So, make sure you do that. And of course, um, try your best uh, to save up those gems because in the start of the uh, main event, you will need at least 110 gems, 30 gems for the first upgrade of the factory slot and then the second uh, is 80 so you need a total of 110 Alright so uh, constantly what I'm trying to do is always to do the 7 stamps and uh, balance them into the 2 stamps ones Quite lucky so far, our competitors are quite alright so I managed to create a huge gap that is always uh, good uh, for a good night's sleep as well uh, So when I woke up the gap wasn't uh, too huge as what I thought uh, but it's good enough uh, for me to get first again so um, that's it uh, this is just a bit of uh, 20 hours before the end of the competition um, a lot of uh, this uh, pain is requested uh, during the last event I'm not too sure whether um, this will be asked again in a new event or not but what I know that uh, you should try to prepare everything you could in the first event because there isn't any hits up in terms of the uh, uh, those EP hits up the, so uh, what you can do really uh, is to make sure uh, your factories are all filled to the brim uh, input and output tray uh, then uh, make sure uh, your factory have some space uh, or actually your warehouse you have some space not your factory apologies for that uh, warehouse you have some space uh, so that when the start of the competition uh, there will be times you need to collect those raw materials and then put in the warehouse and then develop into those um, sports equipments uh, I hope you have seen my uh, previous uh, video that I give a walkthrough of the new summer games uh, event so uh, in this uh, you have two raw materials and then you can convert I think to six uh, factory produce and then eventually you got to join a team um, <laughs> have you decided on the team probably I'll be joining the soccer team uh, since I'm into FIFA mobile as well <laughs> of course I don't know which team is the best uh, it always uh, has a lot of buzz in the forum uh, where people said oh I'll join this team and that team but eventually when it comes out it doesn't sometimes always beat what they said in the forum so quite a bit sad there <laughs> but uh, nonetheless let's check out and uh, see how it work out for you okay um, just if you do not join a team 
that actually climbs to the top spot uh, that doesn't really matter what matters is actually your own contribution to that team so uh, it does uh, have a part to play in that uh, there are two type of rewards uh, just a bit recapped um, one is the team and the other one is basically uh, your contribution to the team um, just do bear in mind uh, I think there are six rounds of competition every round uh, the losers will have bonus so as to make more competitive uh, so that there won't be a clear winner so uh, that's how the game is decided and that's uh, how it goes and in the basically there will be five um, event trains two legendary of which one uh, you need uh, 1000 event uh, coins and another one is probably 4000 uh, event keys okay uh, they call it the summer keys and summer coins of course and then uh, not forgetting if i'm not wrong there's a special building it's a swimming pool or something like that all <laughs> right so uh, you will find out later on when you go to uh, the new events itself but uh, that's it i think a lot of preparation work is required so uh, like uh, for now um, we are as usual going to collect those um, containers uh, doesn't yield me any uh, collectionary unfortunately i still got two more it's not just not giving me a <laughs> <laughs> this uh, Pixel Federation is going to withhold this two legendary for me. There's no way. I'm almost towards the end of legendary or, or end of this uh, Russia already, and still there's no legendary train inside. <laughs> so it's so terrible my luck in Russia. Um, but doesn't matter. I'm not going to spend any keys anymore. I'm just going to save up and go to the next region seven. Hopefully my next uh, region luck should be better than this Russia. Uh, but alright, so I'll say that uh, with the event trains, it helps really a lot. So it's really important to have all those event trains. Um, fast forward, we are now about 7 hours before the end of the competition and I'm quite uh, happy with the progress so far. We have created quite a gap, take a look at the chart. Yes, uh, quite good gap there, almost 50 gap. Just imagine this, um, it takes the person probably uh, assuming he has uh, every hour will generate one seven stem uh, easily there will be seven hours uh, so uh, more or less I'm secure <laughs> um, but uh, that's it uh, unlike anybody will be jamming in this mini event so that's really good uh, you feel good playing this uh, mini event because um, it's more honestly played uh, people don't jam that much uh, because basically people don't jam at all no one wants to waste jams on this a kind of mini event they are always jammed all the way in the main event so uh, unfortunately for people like me who are basically um, non-paying customer uh, we don't have that much of gems um, and I would definitely wouldn't do that <laughs> I can't afford it sorry so uh, there's no way um, but that's it uh, I'm quite happy uh, if only uh, train station 2 doesn't have gems um, that actually expedites the competition i think that'll be wonderful um, there'll be a lot of opportunities for people like me who is willing to uh, put in the hours but not spend money to win but like i said all games are generated for revenue purpose so definitely uh, pixel federation wouldn't like players like me <laughs> who doesn't actually pay a single cent so uh, that's it they prefer people who keep on jamming and uh, uh, try to gain them revenue through watching uh, either uh, th those uh, videos like me I will do watch as well uh, but uh, the other one that actually generate revenues for them is basically paying customers or people who play it, uh, using the Android uh, device to play it related games that they are paid as well so um, unfortunately for Apple players like me we aren't <laughs> able to do that uh, that's a bit unfortunate all right let's quick check on the ranking chart two three three yes we got it uh, that's 45 parts that's really good 45 gold parts is really appreciative of uh trying to do upgrades here again uh left with seven blue maps uh, really tiny amount of trash for there <laughs> all right so uh, global summer games uh, very quick like i said e earlier five trains in total one swimming pool all right then we have gold parts and definitely uh, just a quick check out on the Singan Shen uh, N700S. Alright, comes with some running man there. <laughs> Alright, so uh, the other legendary uh, would be this. Uh, it doesn't have any logo of the team. Uh, wow, so actually, 
thinking about it um, probably if you really want is I think the most um, go after train will be this which has a streaming logo and a running logo so probably this two will be the more uh, popular teams just thinking aloud all right so thank you for watching do like and subscribe and I wish you good luck in the main event goodbye